Do you want to create your own record in Firebase? Let's see how. Hello and welcome back. My name is Afzal and you're watching Flutter Fire series. In the last video, we have seen how to fetch records inside your Flutter application. Today, we're going to have a look at how to create record. And before we do that, first, I will create a listener which will keep looking for any change in the collection and it will update the records uh, based on that. So let's go ahead and write a simple listener on the snapshot. And what it gives you is records. And if you have seen the previous video, you know that I've created a separate method called map records, which accept uh, this record as a parameter and it is going to bind everything to the list view. So let's go ahead and give this application a run. And I'm going to go to Firebase and add one product inside our list so that we can check real time if it is working or not. So I'm just going to create one more document, which is going to be potato. Uh, I didn't find a better uh, vegetable item. And let's say five kg of potatoes. And here you have it in the list view. Perfect. So that's how you can delete as well. Like basically any any change going to happen inside a collection it is going to uh, listen for that and it will update the record based on that so till this point we were working on fetch records so when the application initialized you are going to fetch records and at the same time you will be listening for any change now let's go ahead and work on adding record inside firebase for that what i'm going to do i'm going to add icon button inside app bar which will trigger a dialogue and we're going to accept uh, name of the product and quantity from the user and then with that information we are going to create record on the firebase so here i'm using show dialog which is the inbuilt method inside flutter to display a dialog and if you're working with any other framework like get you can use get.dialog or whatever you prefer uh, the way you want to accept user input let me go ahead and build a simple UI, the simplest UI for accepting name and quantity you can think of. So for that, I'll be having one column inside that there will be two text field. So let's use the power of editing and I'll fast forward this part so that you don't waste time in there. And what I have done is I have created two controllers as well, which is text editing controller. And what it does, if you want to understand, then you can watch this video right here where I have explained in detail how text field works and all the properties of it. So basically it will control whatever you have entered inside the text field and you have to attach these controllers to the respective text field. Just like I've done the first text field accepts name and the second one accepts quantity. Perfect. Now on a click of a button, we are going to fetch this information, whatever is going to be input on the name and quantity. And this will pass to another method. So let's go ahead and create local variables for that. You can even use directly the controller and get the text property. But just for, you know, understanding purpose, I want to use name variable and quantity variable where I'll accept whatever the text and I will also trim it. You know, this is just some of the points which you have to consider whenever you are accepting user input you should trim it and send so that there's no white space or something like that so some part of the video i'm following you know the best practices and other part just for the demonstration i'm skipping things so uh it, it totally about explaining the concept so bear with me on that now let's go ahead and create a most important method of this tutorial which is going to be add item where we will be actually performing the firebase operation now this method accepts two parameter of course the name and the quantity which you have heard so many of time by now so inside this method what i'm going to do is using firebase firestore instance and we'll get the collection and with that collection we will add record now before we do that it's good idea to keep the collection name somewhere common because we don't want to have typos because we are referring this collection name at so many places and also it is good idea to have it one place because uh, you can change it anytime at one place and it will be reflected at all the other places perfect now we are done with the refactoring let's go ahead and add record to firebase now if you look at the signature of add method you will notice that it accepts map of string comma dynamic which means it requires a json value for that what i'm going to do i'm going to create object first which uh, we have already created a model for that so for id you can pass any parameter because anyways we don't have the id parameter inside our uh, fields 
so it is going to generate automatically and for the name and quantity we are going to take it from the parameters perfect so now we have the object i'm going to convert it to json with the help of to json method now if you're wondering where this to json came from this is the same generated file for basket item so it has to json and from json method in built and you can utilize that for such purpose now when we run this code or first thing we have to link this add method somewhere so i want to call add item on click of a button on press event so let's try to do that and one thing i have encountered that i have added this method at the wrong place which is inside the scaffold so let me just go ahead and cut it from here and it should be out of the build method so that you can access it from anywhere so just place it below the build method or above the build method doesn't really matter and then you should be able to call add item and the parameters already there you have captured from the controllers and that is the reason we always put comma at the end of the widget so that it is easy to understand which method is being uh, placed where. So now it's time to link all of these together and on a click of an icon button, the plus icon, I'm going to call show item dialog. And once you open the dialog, you're going to capture the user input and then you're going to click on the add button. So let's go ahead and add one more grocery list into the cart or into the basket, whatever you call it and just to specify the name and quantity and hit the add button now you will notice that the product is being added but the dialog doesn't dismiss and it, it is looking just awful like there's no padding or nothing so let's go ahead and quickly give it a touch up so i'm going to give some padding and dismiss the dialog once the action is performed and you can have a lot of checks as well like whether the product name is valid whether the quantity is valid whether we should add or not so all those validation i leave it up to you guys and once everything is done you can say navigator.pop so which will dismiss the dialog so let's go ahead and add one more product inside our grocery list and let's see how does it work perfect so here you have it the cucumber all right so now let's go ahead and go to firestore and verify all the records are being updated or not and here you can see whatever products you have added is already there so that's how you read record and create record inside firestore in the next video we will learn about deleting and updating the existing record so make sure to hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will see you guys in the next one